All right, uh, for our next review. Yes. Sandra Bullock. Fortunately. Melissa McCarthy. Another unfortunate. In the heat. Big unfortunate. Yeah, so uh, recently well, saw the heat. We went pretty, you went pretty high on this. I think I gave it a matinee. And I, I, I think most of my shots were at the fact that they couldn't play off each other well as a comedy. I'm going to let you start. Well. Taste the humble pie. <laughs> taste the I will, I'm going to start with the positives, all right? Positives. And now on a negative. <laughs> <laughs> no, positives are there were funny moments in it. Huh. There were. I mean, when you saw them playing off of the, the ideas behind them, it was kind of funny, you know, and that's it. For the rest of it, the movie was uh, I was so uninterested in this movie, I actually looked at my watch twice to know what time it was because this is, first of all, it's a long movie for a comedy. Which is actually funny because it's not. I don't think it breaks two hours. It, 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 okay, then it felt really long. Precisely. That's what, okay, right. maybe that's that's what I was looking at. I was like, I, it's, I don't think it breaks. I don't think it breaks a hundred. Yeah. I don't think it breaks just too much past a hundred minutes. My sister wanted to go see these and I kept trying to convince her to go see This is the End again. And I really wish I would have seen This is the End again because this movie, I was just sitting there. And the weird thing was, I'm in the theater, and there's all these audience members laughing at all these jokes. Everyone I, loves and, well, it. Uh, and I'm sitting here like this going, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I wasn't engaged. I wasn't, I didn't feel like it was funny. And now maybe it's because it's two women, but, like, that makes no sense because I've seen other women comedies, no. and I've laughed at all. I do not find Melissa McCarthy being this crude as funny. Saying everything that enters your skull to a ridiculous proportion is does not equate to comedy. Right. It doesn't always. It can, but right. it requires other good writing. And just the whole idea of her being like this, you know, suave playboy. She's getting play all the time, like all these guys walking. At least, it's not, to at least the it's not hot guys, though. It's like, but you know, yeah. she's like, she's like, she's like, yeah, you just gotta go. Like, you know, just like she knows, and the, her character is so two dimensional. It's just she knows every neighborhood in Boston. I don't know if you ever all been to Boston. It's a big old place. That's like saying, I know every neighborhood in New Orleans. I know the inside dirt on every neighborhood in New Orleans. That's f possible. Yeah. Uh, no one knows that. If she knew like one neighborhood, if she was from the rough neighborhood, I would have even accepted that. I am not saying she couldn't be a cop. Not saying that she couldn't be successful. But playing off of that whole like, they have their own arsenals and stuff like that. I was like, like they're kind of turning them into the ridiculous character of Charlie Bronson. Yeah. The and, night, the night wish, uh, uh, death wish, death wish, yeah. Death and it's wish, just, but yeah. it's like to ridiculous proportions, and not to comedic values, but it pulls you out of the movie. Yeah, I mean, like I said, and all the jokes are that on that same plateau. Yeah, like I said, some of the jokes were pretty funny, and I think I literally like chuckled, laughed, like the yeah. audience twice in the movie. Yeah. Other than that, I was sitting there. I don't know if y'all have ever had this feeling, but you sit there and you watch something funny, you go, oh, that's funny, but you don't laugh. That's how I felt in this movie. I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. But I didn't laugh. And while the whole audience is like, ha, 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 ha. And I'm like, meh. And then you have every, you know, Boston, act, Boston comedian and actor. Yeah. You got Bill Burr and the guy yeah. from Celtic Pride and just all sitting there. Yeah. You know, it's just like, and it's, it's okay. But, you know, then they point out the Boston stuff and she's not accepted by her family. And what are you without it? And it's just like that whole. Yeah. And, um. You know the, the annoying girlfriends and just every stereotype. Yeah, every yeah. stereotype you just, throw down about. It was Boston. getting annoying to film. Yeah, and of course Sandra Bullock's an orphan, and she was in foster homes. That's why she's in the FBI. That's why she has this desire to please. That's how well, she ended well, up speaking, in law enforcement. Speaking I'm of, like these two-dimensional yeah. psychological profiles are not necessary. Well, speaking of which, Sandra Bullock's character. They start off the film focusing on her and her ability. She's like a cocky FBI, but she has this ability to be able to walk into a room and know where all the stuff's hidden, which makes her seem like this intelligent cop. But they play that, but they don't play that ever again in the movie. Yeah. And it's like, Until and it was, the very last sequence yeah. when they're finding like one thing. Yeah, and I was like it's really our, looking forward to seeing that part of her character fight the uh, Melissa McCarthy character, like have that intelligent FBI agent play. Against she's the, almost always the dumb one. Right. She Melissa plays out the dumb one. Melissa yeah. McCarthy is the smart, right. intelligent, says whatever she wants one, and Sandra Bullock is the goofy, aw, shucks. Right. It, I can't just, do anything without that's you. That's what threw me off was that, because I kept expecting that Sandra Bullock character to be in the movie, but it was like, let's show her at the beginning. Then after that, she's the idiot. No, it was very much Melissa McCarthy's yeah, show. Yeah, and it's just... It was it, Melissa McCarthy's show, and they just used Sandra Bullock as set up for jokes. I'm awkward and weird, and it's like, oh, really, let's talk about your vagina for 20 minutes then. <laughs> and that's what it is. And I'm like, I'm not even uncomfortable with jokes like that, but I was just yeah. like, I'm like, you going to use that same joke again? Like, yeah. it's like the same joke kept coming up all the time. You can't get laid. You can't get laid. You can't get laid. I get oh, laid all the time. Oh, that was your first boyfriend. Yeah, it's just, it's just oh. such a joke. It's like, yeah. and not in the funny way. So, oh. 
Um, like I said, they were funny moments. Like, I feel like this movie would have been great as, like, a comedy sketch on, like, SNL or something. Not even that. I think if, they played, if they played it more, far more serious. Far uh, more serious. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, more of a Butch Cassidy Sundance Kid style. It, it has potential, but I think, I think they just... Melissa McCarthy, they played to what people expect of her. Yeah. That's exactly what came out on screen. It's exactly why I didn't like it, and it's why my final review for this movie is television. And I want to give the same review, television. I would give a DVD just for the pure fact that there's so much profanity in the movie. You'll never enjoy the, the jokes that are in yeah. it. But, you know, hopefully they'll catch it on HBO. If that's a TV. Yeah, thing. I mean, you know. Because FX, all those other channels will bleep or edit the movie or and something. Then like, and just the holes in the and show. Then, yeah, yeah. It's just, it was just where the heat, like just doing the title line. I'm like, oh, geez, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Check <sighs> it out when you see it on TV, folks. Yeah.